This question was on compression and it asked you to explain how compression works using examples. This is an example of a response that got five marks. The process of compression when un is when unneeded or unused data within a file is deleted. So first of all they've given a definition of compression due to the codec that it undergoes. So codec is the compression decompression. This deletion allows for file size to be decreased dependent on the codec use and the amount of data loss. The way they compress a file differs from each codec to another, so we'll just go roughly into how it works. Firstly, the codec searches for any unused data, so that's a really good point. Searches for any unused data, as stated before, and deletes them. Next, the codec searches for a stationary similarity in the data. So this is talking about, for example, in video. An example would be in a video format where the only the movement occurring in the foreground and the background remains the same. So if you have a video, for example, and you've got a person in it and the background is the same all the time, then the background stays the same and all that happens is the person waves their hand. The codec will cut out any of the stationary parts and give it a process, display X image for 9 seconds instead of loading the same image again and again. So what it's talking then is about using codes. Um, so for example, in JPEG, for example, it uses a compression of data so that it averages out all of the pixels, the colors of the pixels. Um, whereas in GIF, we might say display nine pixels instead of having nine pixels displayed. Uh, instead of loading the same image again and again, so they've given a comparison to what normally happens and then said that we're cutting out stationary points and we're displaying a certain image. Next, the codec will then look at what is similar and each codec defines similar differently. That's true. An example would be taking a picture of a blue sky with no clouds. The codec might gather a large chunk of pixels and classify them under the same stack of blue. I think that says stack even though realistically each pixel is a different shade of blue. All these steps are taken to compress the file, decreasing the file size depending on the codec used. So one of the things you'll notice is that they've given numerous points and different examples about how compression works and there's a technical level of knowledge there. It's actually how compression works. Not just telling us about compression but actually technically how it works. So the okay. Compression is the altering of a file size so that a file is more easily accessible and more easily stored. It's true. Compression is common in video, audio and graphics. Compression is achieved through codecs, which are an algorithm that shrinks file sizes, often at the expense of quality. For example, a compressed video will have a smaller file size as the codec recognises, here we go, the static unmoving pixels in a scrap frame and does not store them, rather freezes them until they are ch moved. With less changing pixels, the file size drops significantly. So that's the how part. This bit up here, although it adds some extra information, so like the definition of compression is good to have, but this bit here where we've got compression is common in video, audio, and graphics, that bit there's probably a little bit of a waste. Okay, just in terms of size. Similarly, so let's go back down to the bottom again. Similarly, a compressed image lacks qual loses quality through a lower resolution or amount of color bit depth. Lower pixel count and lower resolution and lower color detail amount to smaller files. So this is, for example, in GIF compression. The file probably would have gotten a better mark if they had mentioned that it was actually GIF compression that they're talking about, just to clarify what was happening. But this here is the technical information. Lots of people were missing out on that technical information. You sort of either got three because you talked about lossy and lossless, um, which is a type of compression, but the question actually asked how compression works. And that's the most important thing, that you read the question really carefully, because lossy and lossless is sort of comparing types of compression, unless you went into detail about how lossy compression worked, for example.